Hey guys, this is your Chest Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about an upcoming potential blizzard or major snowstorm that will impact portions of the eastern Great Lakes into the Ohio Valley early next week. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather related content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share just with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the GFS Run 06Z GFS. This is one model, one run. And you can see the system where the L1005 is. And these are severe thunderstorms in the southeast Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina, Tennessee. There is a very big possibility that we could see a couple tornadoes and widespread damaging winds in this region. On Monday, Sunday into Monday, um, November 29th to November 30th. We could see severe storms in portions of the southeast that could bring tornadoes. But as we move along, it strengthens into a pressure of 997 millibars on Monday, November 30th. And you can see some pockets of snow, some heavy snow there. And then it strengthens even more going towards Canada into a pressure of 992 millibars with very heavy snow, potentially blizzard conditions in Canada with more light to moderate snow being left behind from Tennessee into Ohio, Indiana, and Kentucky. And it lingers around for another 6 to 12 hours while it pushes towards Michigan and strengthens more and leaves some lingering snow around in Michigan around December 1st to December 2nd and dissipates by November, December 3rd. This is total accumulated snowfall from this whole system, and you can see portions of Tennessee have two to four inches, Kentucky three to five, eastern Indiana up to seven, and Ohio is the main target for this system with seven inches, nine inches, 20 inches along the lake shores, and in the lake shore in New York, seven to nine inches, and in Canada, 20 plus inches, eastern Michigan, six plus inches, Overall, over six inches of snow is expected from the system in the pinker regions. This is the latest ECMWF model, and you can see on the evening of November 29th, you see those severe storms pushing through the southeast with a pressure of 1,000 millibars, and you can see some heavy mix in Indiana to western Kentucky as it transitions into snow going towards Michigan while the low strengthens to 995 millibars. And it leaves behind some light snow and is overall night not quite as strong as the GFS shows. These are snowfall totals with the ECMWF and you can see there's widespread one inches of snow, one to two inches in Tennessee, Kentucky, with a swath of six to ten inches in Indiana there and the pink. The pink is anything above six inches. And there's 13 on the lake shore of Ohio and lots of snow in Canada and three inches in southeastern Michigan. This is the latest GDPS model, and this is the morning of November 30th. The system has a pressure of 998 millibars and is producing moderate snowfall across eastern Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, southeastern Michigan. Fast forward 12 hours, the snow lingers around light to moderate in those same areas. And then as it pushes northeast and strengthens, the snow transitions into Ohio and Pennsylvania and heavy snow in Canada as it lingers for a couple of days and eventually all goes away around December 3rd to 4th. Total snowfall with the GDPS, widespread 6 plus inches of snow all over Indiana, Ohio, northern Pennsylvania, southwestern New York, all over the place, widespread 6 to 10 plus inches. And farther south, we have 2 plus inches in the lighter blues there. And this model actually has snow going as far south as southern Georgia, though that is very unlikely at this time. Question of the day for this video is, do you think the system will reach blizzard criteria, which means blowing winds, sustained winds of 35 plus miles per hour and heavy snow at the same time for at least three hours? Comment your answers below and I will come over. That's just the weather forecast for this upcoming potential blizzard or major snowstorm. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.